Joe, it's now your, your, your fourth game with the team now. Did you feel more comfortable out there, especially in that second half? You guys kind of, you hit that three-pointer, kind of turned everything around for the team. Which which three-pointer are you talking about? The one about? that tied it up, 43. Uh, <laughs> the first one, um, I didn't even know it tied it up. I just know that we're a group that just kept competing even though we're down five. And even though things didn't go our way the first half, we, we were not making any shots. Uh, we stayed with it. And then the fact that this group came back being down five without the momentum at all uh, just shows how we're growing and it's going to keep getting better. better. Did you feel personally more comfortable in the game? Um, yes, I did. Obviously, after four games, uh, I hope I'm going to feel more comfortable. Uh, and I hope uh, with more games coming in, um, I'm going to feel even more comfortable. Yeah, Joseph. What what kind of got you settled down there in the second half? Was it hitting the shot, or you were finding some passes? Seemed like that lineup really played well together with uh, Marcus and the two Housers and Theo and you. What what kind of got you settled in that that way where you're playing so effectively? I mean, obviously, uh, when you see the ball go in, uh, it helps you feel good. You can't just rely on scoring. You know, sometimes uh, you're not be able, you're not going to be able to score, so you're going to have to do other stuff to get yourself going, and that's where I had to find um, um, my good thing. You know, I got to find the good things where I can get myself going, and if it's making a shot, then I'll I'll try to make as many shots as possible. Yeah, so I just think um, when I'm poised, when I'm myself, uh, just getting guys involved, it just opens so many lanes for me. You saw some, like I had a driving lane. I was wide open two times, I think. Just the fact that the defense is so worried about all the other players just helps me so much. You previously didn't take many threes. I think, I'm not sure if you've hit one in the first three games. Then you have come the flurry of them. How much does this help your confidence moving forward? <laughs> like I said, uh, when you see the ball go in for the first time, it just feels good. And I've kept working on my, my, my jump shot, kept, kept shooting threes in practice, after practice. And I knew it was going to come, and just got to stay with it. It's not because I, I had one good game that just got to rely now on it. Just myself having good games, just going to stay with it, keep working hard, and things are going to be good. Uh, Joseph, can you kind of describe the transition coming from Fordham and how much different it is <laughs> playing at Marquette? How different is it, I guess? and, and just what kind of adjustment did you have to make? Um, I mean, I had to make adjustment on offense and on defense. We're not playing the same offense at all. It was more of a slow pace offense. Uh, we're setting more plays. Um, here, we're trying to go fast. We're going to play with pace, everything. On defense, we were um, really just being really aggressive, doubling, trying to get in the passing lanes, trying to get steals. Here, it's more um, we're trying to more uh, build a more like a defense where five players helps each other, you know, where we're going to be solid and we're going to get stops as many as much as possible. So it's not really about it, as many getting steals. Uh, but besides that, just the competition and practice, uh, very different, um, more high level coaches are really pushing me hard, even though I had bad days, good days, always on on me. So, uh, I mean, yeah, no, I'm just uh, it's just thinking of that. Uh, it's second straight slow start for you guys um is it just as simple as there's there's guys haven't clicked yet with all the new pieces or why, why do you think that the slow starts um to be honest i just think it's uh it's just we just need to have a different mindset uh coming into the game uh sometimes we think about our opponent uh is he good is he bad uh how am i going to play uh we just need to figure out something that the whole team's going to come in to the game and just have the same mindset whether it's Team A, Team B, Team C, that we're, it's about us. It's about us, how we're going to play, how we're going to play defense, offense, how we're going to run. And the thing is, sometimes you, you get stuck with who you're playing. You know, we know Kansas is coming the next game, or you get stuck with another team. It's just, we're just going to have the same mindset, whether it's a Team A, Team B, or Team C. And it's just going to be on us. It, it has to be um, from the guys on, on the court on, that are playing, but also, the bench that are coming in after uh, the, those four minutes. So, Kind of building off that, Joseph, where do you feel like this team is at as you go and you go to Brooklyn and, and face the number two team in the country right now? Uh, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, 
just the fact that we were down five with a couple minutes left without the momentum at all um, just shows how resilient this group is and the fact that we play well y you guys can see the way we're playing defense right now at some sometimes it's bad sometimes it's good but like you guys can see the way we're working hard on defense and the way we share the ball on offense just think uh, I just think it's gonna come along it's gonna take time you know we're early in the season and we're just trying to grow that's what we, that's what we want we just want to grow because we know what's what's a uh, what's gonna come at the end of the season but we're taking it game by game and we're just focusing on one opponent at a time and then speaking of those slow starts turnovers seem to be an issue in both games what's the offense not doing or what do they need to do differently um, coach is um, he doesn't like turnover at all all right so that's one thing so we got to be cautious with that um, just think turnovers comes from not having good spacing um, also trying to force things sometimes you know you guys see me like sometimes I try to pass the ball up the court and it's not even there so I'm just forcing the issue but if we play with spacing and uh, if we play off two feet when we drive in the lane you know so we're not we don't travel we don't pass the ball off of one foot um, I think just things gonna be more simple to us and we're gonna be fine 